CompTIA A plus Core 1, 220-1101, Practice Exam. Questions 161 through 165. This video is part of our Practice Exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 161. A smartphone provided to an employee was reported to have issues maintaining cloud service connections when not connected to Wi-Fi. Given the possible reasons listed, which one is the most probable cause for the smartphone's inability to stay connected to cloud services outside of a Wi-Fi network? The answer is D. A valid SIM card was not installed in the device. The most likely cause for a smartphone's inability to maintain cloud service connections when not on Wi-Fi is the absence of a valid SIM card. The SIM card is responsible for providing cellular network access, which is required for data services when Wi-Fi is unavailable. Without a proper SIM card, the smartphone would not have an active cellular data subscription to access cloud services, leading to connectivity issues once the device is no longer connected to a Wi-Fi network. Question 162. A newly constructed PC has failed the post, resulting in an error beep and subsequent shutdown. What is the appropriate next step for the technician to take after verifying that all components are accounted for? The answer is B. Ensure the graphics card is securely connected and powered. The post error beep followed by a shutdown indicates a potential hardware issue. Graphics cards often require direct power from the power supply. And if this connection is not secure or the power cable is not connected, the system may fail to post. Ensuring that the graphics card is properly seated in the PCIe slot and that any required auxiliary power cables are connected is a critical step, as many modern graphics cards will not operate without direct power due to their high power demands, which the motherboard alone cannot fulfill. Question 163. An organization is facing an issue where unwanted emails are being received, seemingly sent from its own email domain. Additionally, there have been no security breaches of email accounts. To best address and prevent this type of email spoofing, which technology should the organization implement? The answer is C, SPF. Center Policy Framework, or SPF, is designed to verify that incoming mail from a domain is being sent from a server authorized by that domain's administrator. It helps to prevent email spoofing by allowing the receiving mail server to check that incoming mail from a domain comes from a server allowed by that domain's SPF record in DNS. In the scenario described, implementing SPF records would allow the organization to specify which mail servers are permitted to send email on behalf of their domain, thus reducing the chances of spammers. Question 164. A technician is comparing two different wiring schemes for Ethernet cables. What is the primary distinction between the T568A and T568B wiring standards? The answer is B. The position of the green and orange wire pairs are swapped. The primary difference between the T568A and T568B wiring standards lies in the color coding of the wire pairs used in the Ethernet cables. Both standards use the same color schemes, but the positions of the green and orange wire pairs are swapped. This means that the green pair is used for pins 1 and 2 in one standard, while in the other, it is used for pins 3 and 6 with the orange pair occupying the alternate positions. This swapping doesn't affect the cable's functionality, but it can affect compatibility with certain types of network hardware. Question 165. A technician sets up a new computer and discovers that the machine is assigning itself an APIPA address. 
What would be the most probable cause for this occurrence? The answer is C. The DHCP server is unreachable. When a computer assigns itself an APIPA address, it indicates that it's unable to communicate with a dynamic host configuration protocol, or DHCP server. APIPA addresses are automatically assigned when a DHCP server is not available to provide an IP address. This self-assignment commonly indicates a network connectivity issue, suggesting that either the DHCP server is down, unreachable, or the computer is not correctly connected to the network where the DHCP server is operating. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.